Hey, 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 everybody. How's it going? It's me, your boy, Coffee Boy 2000 Hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 39. Your guy just got done listening to some music, drinking his coffee. Life is good. It's really good right now, and it's time to do some big things in the Minecraft world. But first, uh, I've, I've done a little bit of work in between episodes. You like my terraforming? Uh, yes, please only answer yes. Yes, you like my terraforming. So I added a tree right here, a tree right there, some flowers, lots of lanterns because, I mean, they're beautiful. They're really, really good looking. And then I even uh, did a little bit of bush work over here. Got creative with the lighting, jack o' lanterns under the bushes. How did he do it? World may never know. I did it over here as well. So spawns should be fully eliminated from this area over here we should be safe which is really good last episode i was thinking while we were working on the phantom trap i i kind of realized that i have big goals for this world and uh to do those big goals we we sort of need to finish the in-between areas like this space over here i never actually ended up finishing this so we'll have to do that soon this is really plain looking and it makes everything look unfinished on camera and i don't know i i really don't want it to look like that so yeah, basically, I wanted to start that process over there, and I really like how it turned out. Now, today is a big, big day, Elites. We are going to be continuing the project that we've been working on for the past few episodes. In the last episode, we hunted phantoms. We got some phantom membranes in. I did a little bit more off-camera, but only really a little bit. We have nine phantom membrane total, so I got four more since last episode. Uh, yeah, not a lot, but still more than enough for the end. Today, we need to do the final big thing that we need to do to go to the end. Uh, so we have the armor, we have the ender pearls, we have the stuff to make the potions, but we don't have the stronghold. So today, we're going to do two big things. We're going to make a new friend, and we're going to go find the stronghold. That's what today's episode is all about. Honestly, I don't know which one is more important, the stronghold or the friend. I'm, <laughs> I'm honestly not too sure. So... First off, Eyes of Ender. Eye of Ender. I don't know. I can never say it. Uh, we need to make those things. To make those things, we'll need Blaze Powder and Ender Pearls. To get Blaze Powder, Blaze Rods. We talked about that a few episodes ago. So, there we go. Then we need to do this and boom. Eye of Ender. Now, Eye of Ender are magical things. They can locate the stronghold within your world, which is really nice. You'll need those to, of course, find the stronghold. Now, uh, you'll also probably want to have a few other things. Definitely have a lot of food and a bed. This process can take a long time sometimes, and if you're out in the field at nighttime trying to find the thing, uh, that could be dangerous. So, food and a, and a bed. You, you need to eat. That's self-explanatory. You may also want to grab a map because it, it might help to mark the stronghold. So, we're going to go ahead and grab a map and then some purple wool. Once we find the stronghold, we'll actually be marking the thing on that map. So hopefully it ends up being on one of these maps. I really don't know which one I should take. Um, you know what? We'll do this. We'll throw the Eye of Ender. Where did it go? Uh, that way. Okay. So that means we need to take this map or that map, which is good. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> don't throw your Eyes of Ender at Cactus. Uh, we'll take both of these for now. So purple wool, we really only need enough for one banner. So we're just going to take six of this stuff. That should be good. And last but not least, you will want some transportation. So we're going to take a boat. And today is finally the day. Sorry, Pam, by the way, you got to wave there today. But today is finally the day. We are going to get a horse. I'm thinking this one right there. If the horse is good, we'll keep this one. If not, we'll, we'll ditch it. We'll abandon it. We'll, we'll throw it in the garbage and we'll find a new, better horse. We're looking for speed. Speed is what i have in mind so hopefully you are speed uh the health is good health is important too jump is also pretty big i i need a horse that can jump at least two blocks hopefully eh, that would be good but uh speed is the most important thing come on come on we're friends we're are we friends uh okay, we're friends okay amazing saddle are you fast you are this is decently fast you're you're kind of quick you're you are kind of speed but First, uh, let's check this one really quick and just see see what... Okay, this one has one more heart, which is good for sure. We have diamond horse armor, though. Uh, okay, really? It's ditching me. It went right back to where it started. Okay, that's cool. Uh, you, how quick are you? Uh, you are much slower. You have decent jump, though. You are going to be right here. You're going to live with... Who's living in here? A sheep. Okay, you're going to live with the sheep um we yes okay okay so i think the plan is this horse right here but what is the jump um 
I think that's like two blocks, maybe? Let's, let's test it really quick. Can you jump up there? Yes, you can. Okay, that is amazing. This horse needs a name, and I think, of course, the perfect name for the horse is going to be... The horse's name is Stanley, of course. It is our boy, Stanley, right here with the diamond horse armor, which is great. So, now it's time to hunt for the stronghold. Now, hopefully, we only have to travel across land. If we don't and we end up having to go across water stanley will have to wait stanley is fully geared up though which is really good so i'm sure the horse can handle it now when we threw the first ender pearl or ender eye i'm sure i'll mess that up quite a bit today it went that way that means we should probably start by running this way now every cedar every world on minecraft java edition will have more than one stronghold the eye of ender will simply locate the closest stronghold to you so if you found one stronghold and you wanted to find another you could go really really far throw another eye of ender and it should lead you to a new one i recommend throwing eyes of ender into the air in flat open areas if possible and throwing them a about every 100 to 250 blocks. If you have a lot of eyes of vendor, then you can throw them more frequently. If you have a little, then try and move more in between each throw. Basically, the eye of vendor is going to fly into the air and hover over the ground for a minute and then break, as you guys just saw. In case I haven't said already, the Eye of Ender knows everything. It, it knows, well, it only knows where the stronghold is, so basically, just follow the direction that the Eye of Ender keeps going. Now, you don't have to be exact with your math. You could go, you know, like 300 blocks and throw one. You could go less and, and throw an Eye of Ender. The distance in between your throws technically does not matter at all, but it's smarter to space them out because sometimes an Eye of Ender can break. If it breaks, it's, it's gone. It's, you just don't get it back, which is definitely bad because you'll actually need these things to activate the stronghold portal and enter the end as well. So, so far, so good though. We haven't lost a single Eye of Ender, which is really, really good. And I think this is brand new terrain. I'm not sure if we ever ended up seeing this. I mean, I know that when we were looking for bees in episode one or two or three, we went over this way, but I definitely would have marked, well, no, I didn't have the map back then. So I, I don't think we've seen this, but that's a village over there, which is pretty cool. Of course, I see the desert temple as well, but we're kind of on a mission. We're, we're going to find the stronghold and probably loot through that thing. So filling up my inventory right now with desert temple loot, probably not a good idea. I also sort of forgot all other wool to mark anything else. So uh, we won't be able to mark anything. We'll just have to remember that there's a town this way and hopefully come back to it later. But it's nighttime. We should definitely sleep. Stanley, you better not go anywhere. All right. Coast is clear. So we've gone quite a ways where does the pearl go we still go that way wow uh pearl i've been eye vendor I, <laughs> I don't know why i played this game for like eight years nine years and this mechanic has always pretty much been the same thing but i still confuse pearls and eyes of vendor and eyes of vendor eye of vendors which is it oh no we found an ocean stanley oh uh, and a bee hey <laughs> uh a bee that's cool but an ocean stanley stanley wait huh what no way no way no way okay oh it broke so that's what happens when it breaks the cool particle effect and it's gone but the eye of ender actually went backwards so up until this point it's been going out this way but now it went the other way which means we we very well may is it on the where did it go i can't find it oh no um i kind of lost it guys uh okay it went right there okay so throw it again and it's going right at the ground it looks like which means we actually found this place the stronghold should be located right under here this is so close it's like pretty much a straight line too this is huge so you know that you found the stronghold once the eye of ender basically just flies right at the ground or if it just is going back and forth like if it went over this way and then back over that way we're basically right above the thing so stanley you are probably not going to be great for strongholds you're gonna go ahead and wait out here so let's build a makeshift stable right here we'll do a corner of blocks and we'll do two there two right here and stanley should be trapped forever sorry my guy we will come back for you we'll put a torch on that just to remember now usually i would say right on the coordinates of these things but we're just going to be going straight down so it'll be fine 
Now, I think that we should probably make a spiral staircase down here. The eye of Ender was insisting on this location right here exactly. If we do a staircase, we might miss it. So, uh, hopefully, there'll be a stronghold down here. I mean, I don't see why there wouldn't be. So once we find the thing, the banner making supplies will come out and we'll mark it. Then we'll go ahead and explore the stronghold. Strongholds are honestly one of my favorite structures in Minecraft. Well, one, because they've been the same for so long. I think that's kind of cool. And two, because they're like giant bases, basically, in a sense. And I don't know, they're just really cool. I've always wanted to actually make my base in a stronghold, but I've never gotten that lucky. I, I usually like to make my base and then not move ever again because I put a lot of effort into building the thing. So, you know, ditching the base that we have right now for a stronghold base, I don't know. It would be cool, but I don't know. I, I can't ditch everything, but I'm starting to hear mobs, so... Uh, we should hopefully be close. How far down are we? Uh, 40 only. Wow. Okay, so I guess we could still have a long ways to go. Strongholds don't have a set Y level that they always generate at. Strongholds also don't have a set formation. Basically, strongholds are made up of many different hallways and rooms, so they can be many different shapes, but I saw light. What do we have down here? Oh, oh, we have an abandoned mine shaft too. Wow. This is crazy. We might actually have a mine shaft going through us. Oh, wow. We have a mine shaft going through a stronghold. Wow. That is really, really cool. And the lava is very, very dangerous. So we're going to go ahead and do this. You're going to be cut off and we're going to mark the entrance. Hopefully I can. I mean, I think I'll be able to remember. But what the? I've never seen this. The stronghold is literally a cut through like a mine. Wow. This is really cool. I bet we could find a spider spawner here and actually set up a decent stronghold base. That is really really cool uh enderman over there we're gonna be careful so a skeleton that uh, can walk right through here so it looks like this stronghold is going to be the glitchiest stronghold that i've ever seen the halls are going to be really really ruined which is a bummer in one sense but also really cool i've never seen this before so now it's time to explore the thing which is pretty straightforward i mean you walk around place torches on the ground and ooh, library room look at that this is one of the best rooms in a stronghold because the bookshelves those are very very valuable i mean i mean bookcases are always expensive to make and there's a lot here so we could steal these if we wanted to but uh even more importantly there should be some loot in this room I think there should be a chest, yeah, right over here behind that stone block, my bad. What do we have? Lots of books and a map. I, I guess that's cool. I don't really need those right now. We'll leave those there. And then there's one more right there. So let's go ahead and get back down there and check that out. Now the ceiling here is really interesting. There's water right there. That makes me think there's more caves right there because I don't think we're under the ocean. Just books. Wow. Sometimes you can get an enchanted book from these things. I was kind of hoping for mending. That's a little bit of a bummer, but that's that's fine. Now, hopefully, this stronghold's uh, portal room is not glitched. That would be a, a big problem. I've never seen it before, but I think it technically could happen. Uh, diamonds. Ooh, I like that. Diamonds are great, and an ender pearl too, but I'm not too concerned about the pearl. We'll come back for that later. Uh, Enderman right there again. Okay, you're making me nervous. You know what? Uh, let's just take care of the Enderman really quick here. We'll stand right under this thing, and you're going to go away. Sorry, Enderman. Goodbye. Uh, how many pearls? We got three. Nice. The pearls will wait right there in that loot chest. So um, let's go ahead and actually mark this place. I said I was going to do that, and then I started exploring. So banner right there, we'll just put it right by the entrance for now, and then marked on the map. That's great. We'll have to label the, the banners on our maps later, but not today. Uh, today we need to find the portal. So let's go this way now into... Wait, is this the second library? Yeah, this is definitely a second library. The other one had fully enclosed walls. Ooh, maybe we have another chance to find good loot. Creeper, though, you're gonna go away. See you, buddy. Um, treasure. Where is the treasure at? Oh, in a big room, too. And another creeper. Okay, go away, buddy. No, I meant go away. Okay, that, that works, too, I guess. All right, so, okay, another creeper. You're gonna have to back up. Back up. Oh, wow, this is dangerous. This is very, very dangerous in here. Yeah, I just wanted to see the loot. An apple. All of that for an, an, another creeper, really. What is going on with the structures? Every time I find a good structure in Minecraft, the mobs start spawning like crazy. This is not cool. We need to we need to light this area up. That's very, very dangerous. Uh, but back to the library. What do we have in here? Where's the loot? There should definitely be another loot chest in here somewhere. I think it sits on top of one of the bookshelves in this room maybe if if it's here or maybe it's in the sidewall on this one this library is different ah there it is uh fortune two no 
Thanks. Okay. Okay, so let's go to this hallway, or maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go back where we... Where did we come from this way? No, we didn't. Um, let's go this way. Lots of loot in this one. That's cool. The loot's not that good, but it's like cool <laughs> uh yeah we had definitely haven't seen this though um okay there's usually loot in this room yes uh what do we have iron i'll take the iron that's good the gold will be useful in the next update but this world probably won't see that update so yeah in case you haven't noticed yet these things are gigantic mazes a fountain room though that's really cool i actually haven't seen a fountain room in a long time where does this go does this go okay this goes back to where we've been yeah definitely this is right about that weird library how about over here where does this okay this all loops around uh this is very hard to explore guys <laughs> it's confusing staircase over here how about this one where does this go does this go to the the room no i don't think so um oh it does <gasps> it does okay wow this is the treasure room right here with the with the spawner this is amazing that's our end portal right there we need one two three four five six seven eight nine nine eyes of ender which we do technically have right now but we'll turn that thing on when we're going to the end that's amazing this is the portal room portal rooms will always look the same as soon as you found the silverfish spawner and uh, obviously the end portal blocks uh, that means you found the portal room now the spawner is up to you you can remove it if you want or you can keep it i think i'm gonna keep it for now maybe we'll do something with it later but yeah just be careful silverfish can be really overwhelming inside of this thing but uh now we need to make sure we're safe i don't know where that skeleton is okay there's silverfish that's great that's great what did i say about the silverfish all right so the skeleton it is down there i think um we really need to make this safe and uh bad news i have officially run out of coal i forgot my fortune pickaxe as well and i don't feel like making another one so i think we're we're not going to be able to make this place too safe what we can do though is link the entrance up to well you know what instead actually you know what we could do we could just dig up from this room what if we added a new spiral staircase from like this area in the stronghold going up to the surface uh skeleton with an enchanted bow you're gonna go away dude uh, you know what? Yeah, I think I really like that idea, but I need to sleep first because it's nighttime. So let's go ahead and make a new staircase up to the surface from right here. And this time, actually, it doesn't have to be a spiral staircase now that I think about it. It could just be a normal staircase that goes up and then turns and continues to go up. So let's do that really quick. Well, uh, big problem. Elites, we, we came up in the water, so I'm going to have to go ahead and remove all of this water. I'd like the staircase to go right up to the surface and probably not have water pouring in. So I'm going to have to fill in a lot of blocks to get rid of these water sources and continue the staircase up. I, I mean, I guess I could go back and just readjust it, but no, that, that's, that makes too much sense. All right, elites, what I've built, what I've come up with here is this one word. It is... It's amazing. It's it's beautiful. I guess there's a few words. It's right down here. Take a look at this. This is the best thing that I've built in this world. This makes me emotional. This build right here. That is, it's beautiful. With that dirt accent corner. Wow. Um, okay, maybe it's not. It's just a staircase, but the job has been complete. I moved the banner over here, remarked the map, and this staircase now goes right down into, I guess what we'll call the loading room, pretty much, of, of the stronghold. So the portal room is right down there, and then this room is obviously right here. So next, we need to link this place up through the nether. We have a really nice nether hub started, and I think we can expand upon that by linking it up to the stronghold. So these coordinates right here are exactly where I'm standing. The next move, the next plan is to grab Stanley and ride back over to the base. Once we're at the base, we'll do the math, go into the nether, and make a brand new ice road that heads right over to this location right here. I think I have enough ice stockpiled from the last project, but if I don't, we'll have to do a bit of a sidetrack and go over to the Tundra. This should be a pretty easy job to accomplish. It's just a matter of, I guess, really making sure we have enough ice. That's the most difficult part. Now, to get back to the base, I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to fill in this map as I go as well. So we're going to ride to the south a little bit and then ride back that way. Um, just a little bit, though, because I have to fill the bottom strip of this map in. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave Stanley with a sheep for now. Eventually, we'll make a better house uh, or a better stable for Stanley. 
Now, I need to go ahead and clear out my inventory before I head into the nether, and we need to check our ice stockpiles. Do we have enough ice? Um, maybe. We might. I'm not too sure. I guess we'll have to see. Okay, so, the coordinates that we need in the nether. Those numbers would be those things right there. Negative 191, 31, negative 29. So, uh, negative 191 is this way. It's going to be over there. Negative 29 is going to be this way. So, hmm... Uh, what I'm thinking is we'll have a tunnel actually coming off of this side instead of over there I think this one will only go to the nether fortress So we'll go over to negative 29 Which will be really really short and then all the way down to what was it negative 191 that uh, Is kind of far, but it's also really not that far at all. We can easily get over to 29 in no time uh -huh, Right there and now negative 191 a little bit farther, but still pretty easy. Only 150 blocks. Now, a little earlier on in the series, when we were actually building the nether hub, I talked about doing four tunnels coming out of the central hub. My mind has definitely changed. I'm now thinking of two main tunnels coming out of the central hub going in opposite directions. Coming off of those two main tunnels will be the other tunnels that actually take us to places. I think that's probably just an easier way to do things. All right, so negative 191 is right here. We made it all the way over here in pretty much no time at all. So let's go ahead and build the portal, go through it, and see where it puts us. It definitely shouldn't put us down in the stronghold. We're way too high up for that. I think we'll probably, yeah, be right up on the surface. So now we're going to go ahead and take this portal apart and move it down into the stronghold. We can easily repurpose the obsidian that the game just gave us for free because uh, we didn't have enough before. Thank you, game. All right, so now let's go ahead and build the portal down here. We'll make it uh, this big uh, for now. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll make it this big for now, just like that, and then we go through it. Now, this will definitely take us to the nether hub. I'm sure we've tested this before. Aha, uh -huh. just as I suspected, we're golden. Now it's time to actually get the ice road in. I'll be using the exact same ice road design on this ice road that I used on the other ice road. That means ice in the middle, no blocks on either side, and then glass panes on the walls on both sides of this ice road. That is the plan. So, I'll be back once this ice road is done and in. I'll probably end up having to go to the tundra because, uh, unfortunately, I think I'm going to be just short on the ice. Alright, well, the tunnel, the ice road, is now officially done. The red tunnel has now been begun. This connects all the way up over to the stronghold. We can get there super, super quickly, which is really, really nice. Now, while working on this project, I did actually end up having to go to the Mesa too, because I was out of terracotta and I needed more blue terracotta for the red, I, I guess, well, the red the red pipe entrance right there but yeah everything is now good and in i'm actually making a bunch of glass too but it looks like i ended up having way more than enough but that is going to actually just about do it for this episode of the minecraft guide everybody i hope you guys enjoyed this one like subscribe that is how you find a stronghold and i guess how you link up to a stronghold as well today i'd like to send a big thank you to my patron ash renette remember the merch is always right down below the video my patreon is down in the description and everything else is down there too thank you again for watching stay cool i'll see you next time goodbye at least